Jill Ordell. Welcome to this 300 level SICU course on the MZT7 and RZT7 magnetic cylinder sensors. In this course, we will cover a basic introduction to the MZT7 and RZT7, their positioning within six T-slot magnetic cylinder sensor portfolio, key features and benefits, how to mount the sensor, key applications, and order information. So what is an MZT7 and RZT7 exactly? Well, it looks like this. It's a magnetic cylinder sensor which detects a magnet inside a piston on a cylinder. And there's a sensor inside this housing that gives an output to the user to determine where the piston is exactly and gives position information. But even though we call it a cylinder sensor, don't forget that it can be used on grippers and linear actuators as well. So where do these fit into our magnetic cylinder sensor portfolio? SIC has a large magnetic cylinder sensor portfolio, including C-slot and analog products. But we have slimmed down our T-slot portfolio to just these two products. The MZT7 is our core offering, which means it is your go-to sensor. This is where you will always start. The M in MZT7 means solid state, so NPN or PNP and R for RZT7 means read. The T7 family offers the awesome combination screw and drop-in mounting as well as universal fit. If these features won't quite cut it for your application, then we have the next step up in the prime family of the MZT8. Just to reiterate, the T7 family is your starting place for standard applications. The T8 family is the next step up if you need it for more demanding applications. Next, let's discuss some features and benefits. The combination screw is truly captive. It will never fall out. This is a huge selling point for such a standard low-cost sensor. I used to get a lot of calls asking for replacement screws because customers had dropped the tiny little screws while installing the sensor on their assembly line. Plus, the screw can be tightened using either an Allen key or a flathead screwdriver. A quarter turn is all you need. We can easily insert the sensor from above. No need to ever remove the end caps of the cylinder. It's even easier than turn-in mounting. This is a time saver. The T7 family is mounted directly into the T-slot and the universal housing design compensates for the various slot dimensions from the widest range of cylinder manufacturers. The funny looking side retaining ribs actually hold the sensor in place before the screw is tightened. This saves a lot of time during installation. Next, let's talk about setup. So here's the MZT7, and setup is really simple. We simply do drop-in mounting to a cylinder from above, and it's not going to fall out due to those retaining ribs. We find the spot where it lights up and it's detecting your magnet inside. We can use either a flathead screwdriver or an Allen key. Quarter turn is all you need, and it is not coming out of that slot. You can turn it off by moving the piston. You could have another one to detect the off position and other end position. It turns back on and detects it every time. And that's as easy as setup gets. Now we can talk about some applications. The T7 cylinder sensor will go on any pneumatic cylinder or gripper, and the primary markets are those with a higher usage. It's pretty universal in factory automation, assembly and handling machines, packaging machines, and electronics production. The MZT7 is the ideal solution for a multitude of applications and the widest range of cylinder types. So now I bet you want to know how to get one. Of course they are available on our website, www.sicusa.com, but there's also a nice brochure as available as well. We have solid state, PNP, and NPN versions available as well as AC-DC two-wire read and AC-DC three-wire read. If this terminology is confusing, I would recommend taking some of the earlier basic CQ courses. But don't forget about accessories. Not every cylinder has a T-slot, and that's okay. We have brackets to make them fit dovetail slots, integrated profiles, round bodies, and even a T-slot to C-slot adapter. The T-slot might be the way to go, even if you don't have a T-slot. 
Let's do a quick summary of everything we just learned about the T7 family. Going back to the basics, the MCT7 refers to our solid state and the RZT7 refers to the read options of our new T-slot magnetic cylinder sensor family. It is your go-to core family. If you have a demanding application requiring more features, then our prime family, MZT8, would be the next step. Our most favorite features are going to be the captive combination screw. This means that the screw can't fall out. No more phone calls to me. And the combination part means that you can tighten it with only a quarter turn using either an Allen key or flathead screwdriver, whichever you have handy. The retaining ribs actually keep the sensor in the slot so it doesn't fall out. And the universal housing design means that we fit almost everybody's cylinders, slides, and grippers. And guess what? Those are the industries we are targeting. Most common in factory automation assembly and handling machines, packaging machines, and electronic production. Don't give up if your cylinder doesn't have a T-slot. That's just the beginning of the story. Intimidated about how to pick an adapter? Don't be. And if you are, don't worry. We have people for that. Application engineering support. Sensor help at sick.com or 1-800-325-SICK. And you can call and talk to real people on the phone. Thank you so much for your time and attention.